Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to season my Rectech 680 grill. There he is right there. I'm going to season this with, you know, uh, uh, pork butt slash pork shoulder. You know what I mean? So I can get my, my, uh, my grill nicely seasoned. Get it, you know, get the grease moved, you know, throughout. You know what I mean? Start bringing flavor to the grill since it is brand new. So I'm gonna just show you how easy it is. And uh, hey, I wanna say thank you to Francisco's Meat Company. They out of Anaheim, California. Listen, they donated this pork butt slash shoulder to me so that I can season my grill. Hey, and I just wanna say, hey, the best way you season anything or even for your cook, you gotta start off with, you know, prime meat. You know what I mean? So hey, listen, don't forget, follow them on, uh, check them out. They on Instagram. And again, that's Francisco's Meat uh, Company, FMC. So check them out, let them know that AB sent you. And uh, hey, I'm going back right now. Hey, listen, I'm making this today. And listen, tomorrow I'm headed out down to them to go get this brisket. They had a brisket that kept hollering and jumping inside of their little counter, to, you know, telling me to pick them up. So listen, since it's looking to go home to go home with me, we're gonna get it and that's our next cook. So just wanna give a shout out to the FMC. Hey, thank you guys. Hey, Jose, Sergio, y'all the men. Listen, I'm gonna put all of the information for Francisco's Meat Company in the description box below. So check them out. If you live anywhere near Anaheim, California, you gotta give them a chance. Hey, listen, I promise you, it's my one-stop meat shop. Now listen, earlier I heard myself say, there he is, pointing over there at the Rec Tech 680. And then I got a Weber Kettle Grill Anniversary Edition with a, you know, it's all red, and I call her. Hear, you hear that? I say, it's a girl. So look, let's just go ahead and do this. I'm going to get a uh, giveaway going, you know, get it ready, and we're going to figure out, we're going to come up with some type of name for him, for this Rectech 680 grill. We're going to figure it out. You know what I mean? So look forward to that uh, video coming uh, this upcoming week. Remember, we're going to name the grill. If I pick your name, I'm going to get stickers made. You know, I'm going to get it uh, some kind of way. I'm going to get it airbrushed on my, uh, on my grill, and that's him. So with no further ado, let's get it in. Now we're gonna set our temperature. We push the button and then we set it for 275 degrees. I click it again, and that's what's actually inside of the grill. Here, I start off by rubbing the pork, you know, completely with Heinz yellow mustard. You wanna rub that on, you know, on the, uh, the fat cap on all the sides, then I'm gonna flip it over and then I'm gonna put it, you know, on the bottom, of course. Now here, I pay attention to detail. As I'm rubbing down the uh, the pork with this yellow mustard, I try to make sure that I get it in any kind of crevice that opens up into uh, the meat. That way, when I sprinkle the rub on top, you know, it'll just stick to every part, even, you know, like in some of the cracks, you know, like maybe some of the tears where the meat has relaxed or anything like that. The main objective is to get that seasoning, that rub, you know, in the meat so that it can, uh, you know, help with the flavoring. Now that your grill has reached 275 degrees, it's time to put your pork on. Now me, I like to put the pork in the center, no matter what grill I'm using. 
But from the videos that I watched in the past, they say with this Rectech 680, it's perfect to put right in the middle so it can get that even, you know, that even cook. Now right here, this is what it looks like after one hour. Now remember, I started this cook off at 275 degrees. And so listen, every hour that I have it uncovered, I'm gonna spritz it or spray it. When I'm using a 50-50 mix of red wine vinegar and apple juice. And after looking at that, I decided that I'm gonna raise the uh, temperature up to 350 degrees and continue my uh, cooking for at least another two and a half hours until I get the desired look that I would like to see on it. And then after that, as you see right now, what I'm doing is I'm setting up my layers, you know, just utilizing my time as I'm getting ready, you know, so that I, when I pull it off, I'm able to just drop it right here on the foil, wrap it up. Oh, first insert my probe, wrap it up, and then go from there. Time management. What you see here is what I'm doing is prepping my uh, Thermo Pro, which is a remote food thermometer, which is model number uh, TP20. So listen, when you're cooking, you know, pork shoulders, pork butts, or you're cooking a brisket, you almost want to throw out the time. So what's important is internal temps. I'm looking to get this pork butt uh, to the temperature, internal temperature of 200 to 205 degrees. So what you see is I set it for 198 degrees. And then uh, the number that to the to the right of that is what it would be what is actual. So listen, the smaller unit sends the information to the larger unit, and I keep the larger unit on my side. That way, wherever I'm at in my house, I can you know stay in tune with my cook. Here I insert the thermometer probe into the meat. This is how we're going to get, you know, get our internal temperature. And then we carefully wrap it up, not to tear up the uh, foil. You want to like just figure out some type of way. As you can see what I do, I put it in at an angle towards like the corner. That way I can wrap it with the probe cord, cord coming out and I just continue to wrap it until it's done. Now here, I ran the thermometer probe uh, attachment through the side of the Rectech 680 grill. As you see, it says 142 degrees. That's what the internal temperature is on there. And then on the big unit, you see the on the right uh, side, it says 142, that's the internal. And to the left, you can see where it says 198 degrees. Soon as it reaches 198 degrees, an alarm will go off and then I know it's time to start moving.
now we're getting close to the end. For me, this is where I apply AB's Grill Master Series Savory Brown Sugar Barbecue Sauce. For me, listen, the brown sugar in my barbecue sauce, you know, when it's on top, when you put it back into on the grill for about 20 minutes, you know, 15 to 20 minutes, it caramelizes the brown sugar on there and it makes a nice little, I'm going to say a little bark, you know, and adds that little sweet barbecue tangy uh, flavor to it. Now here's the telltale sign. Look, when you pull this bone out right here, it should pull out nice and easy and it shouldn't have no meat on it. It should pull out clean. Look, so as I pull it out, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you two different views. There it is, clean, and here it is up close and personal. Now that right there is what I tell you. This is how you know your pork butt is done. <laughs> 